Yo, what's up, my friends? The world's a better place because you are here to join us. My name is Matt Brown, and I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. And it is Thursday, October 10th, 2024. We have another week of giving you some picks, another show to give you some picks regarding the world of college football and the NFL. And before I give you my picks for this week, last week we went four and two. I just want to remind you to like and subscribe to the Productive Conversations podcast on all podcasts and platforms and YouTube. And don't forget to check out exclusive content regarding the show across all social media platforms on Instagram at Productive Conversations Podcast, X to Twitter at Prod Cobble Pod, or TikTok at Productive Conversations, and Facebook at Productive Conversations. And don't forget, as always, we want to thank our presenting sponsor, Magic Mind. Like, I have this item it's called magic mind it's a beautiful green tea shot you take the green tea shot before your day begins and what happens due to its vitamins and nootropics it allows you to literally enhance your lifestyle both mentally and physically it improves mental performance creates mental clarity it creates a calmer energy for you and it allows you to improve all vitality in your life and things are going to get better. I've been using this for months and my quality of life has definitely improved as I continue to grind and do these shows, as I continue to look for a better job uh, when I'm not doing this. And as I continue to work out, see my friends and family, keep up with the social life and hope that I meet a beautiful lady one of these days. It's been a while since I've had that type of relationship. The bottom line is, as soon as I take Magic Mind, things improve mightily for me and my life, and I encourage you to do the same. And you can do that by going to magicmind.com slash PCMB, use discount code PCMB20, and you get 48% off your first subscription or 20% off your first one-time purchase. Again, that is magicmind.com slash PCMB, and use discount code PCMB20 for 48% off your first subscription or 20% off your first one-time purchase. Pretty great stuff. I have to say. All right, continuing on with this month of October that's been very busy, but we've been having a lot of fun covering, obviously, the NFL and college football season, covering the MLB postseason, and also just keeping up with everything that's trending around the world. And, of course, our hearts and heart, uh, hearts and prayers out to all those affected by Hurricane Milton, um, Hurricane Helene, and I guess there's another one coming named Hurricane Nadine that we just all need a break from these natural disasters. but. Again, our hearts and thoughts are out to you. Please donate to FEMA if you can and just, you know, appreciate this life. Clearly, things are what they are in 2024, but, um, you know, we're still here and we're here to entertain. And we have this, this productive conversation on our college football and NFL picks. This will be our last scheduled show. But however, we will have a podcast for you tonight as well. We'll have you on Thursday night after the Yankee game and also after Tigers Guardians where we're going to do an instant reaction to those games. And then we'll continue on with everything else. No show on Friday as we had to move the tweet cap this week. Ryan had to go to a wedding. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Congratulations to bride and groom. But um, that's why we had to move things around. But we'll be back to it on Monday. Well, we'll be back to it on Monday. No, no, no. Actually, we'll be back to it on Sunday we are, as we react to the Mets game one of the NLCS at least. And hopefully Monday, it'll be three shows where we have college football recap, NFL recap, and then recapping game one of the NLCS. Because as I mentioned, we will be doing instant reactions to every Mets and Yankees remaining playoff game. Hopefully it continues to be deep. And unless I obviously let you know if I'm busy on a night for some reason or something comes up, we'll definitely do it the next day, no matter what. So a lot of exciting things going on. So let's continue this portion and don't forget to check out our other content. Let's talk about the picks. All right. NFL week six, NCAA week seven. Last week I went four and two. Last week I went four and two. Okay. So let me just pull it up on my handy dandy phone. I missed out on South Carolina and Ole Miss. Ole Miss beat the snot out of South Carolina. Clemson, I hit minus 14 and a half. SMU, I hit the uh, underdog plus seven, right, over Louisville. 
Cowboys a hit plus two and a half. Ravens just barely win by a field goal minus two and a half as well. Cowboys win plus two and a half. And here's the thing, right? I will not do this again because there's clear video evidence of me doing this. Go with your gut and I mean, go with your gut no matter what in life. But especially if you are wagering and remember to wager responsibly, go to 1-800-GAMBLER if there is an issue. But um, I first was going with Chiefs minus five and a half, right? Chiefs minus five and a half. Then I changed my mind in the middle of the podcast because, you know, things have gone haywire in the NFL. It's been an interesting season, but a lot of things we all haven't expected to happen. I mean, 49ers two and three to start the season. The Bengals one and four, for instance. We have the Broncos three and two on a three game winning streak. Uh, things are are different. That's a good thing as we approach pretty much the first third of the season. And so I picked Chiefs minus five and a half. Figured they were due to lose. Saints had a lot of momentum. But as I mentioned, we will talk about this Monday Night Football game as I was trying my best to watch it, which I did. was able to pay attention amongst the all the baseball. But yeah, the Chiefs ran away with it at home. They won 26-13. Carr gets hurt. And this was an account to Mahomes, despite not throwing a touchdown, still getting plenty of yardage. And the running game, Kareem Hunt looking great out there. And the receiver with... Without their top number one receiver, without their number two receiver, no Rasheed Rice, no Hollywood Brown. He's making plays work with Juju Smith-Schuster to name to, and Xavier Worthy. And then the cheat, and then the Saints could not. The Saints had nothing against the Chiefs' defense, and Chiefs stay undefeated as they go into their bye. And we could have had our first sweep of the NFL season, but that was not meant to be. I shouldn't have changed it. My mistake. That's on me, but we learned our lesson, and we will not switch picks in the middle of a pick segment. So uh, I learned my lesson on that. Just go with your gut, and you'd be surprised how much you were right the whole time. So lesson learned, but it's okay, and we're going to rock and roll. And now here, right here, is our picks for college football week seven, NFL week six. So let's start with the college. After the college football s- season last weekend was an absolute ride. College football was incredible. So many upsets. A lot of rank. A lot of ranked teams go down, and uh, the thing looks completely different in the college football rankings. On top of that, now we have a huge rivalry week going on, and a lot of my picks this week are focused on those rivalry games. So let's review really quick. We got the Red River Classic this week. This Saturday, Texas and Oklahoma, a rivalry that has played has gone as early as 1900. Classic game right here. It ended with a huge comeback for Oklahoma last year. Good stuff there. Penn State and USC are going out of right fourth ranked Penn State in US in a big Big Ten matchup. Who would have thought there? Penn State going all the way to Southern California to take on the Trojans. That's going to be interesting. Florida and Tennessee got a big rivalry game right here. Oh, man, Tennessee with some momentum, ranked eighth in the nation. Ohio State and Oregon State, a national championship rematch. Two undefeated teams going once another Big Ten matchup. Wow, that's going to be in, in quite intriguing. Ole Miss and LSU. Ole Miss gets back on the rope after bouncing back at South Carolina. LSU making some momentum as well, ninth and 13th ranked. We also have Kansas State taking on Colorado. Colorado 4-1 trying to get over the hump there. And why don't we now... So yeah, a lot of great matchups. This is going to be a good week to pay attention for college football. So let's get to it. And all my picks are amongst these big-time matchups. And why don't we start with the Kansas State and Colorado matchup at this moment. Ba-ba-ba. Kansas State opens as a minus three and a half point favorite against Colorado. And I believe Colorado is going to defeat this ranked opponent. I haven't had the chance to do it this season. Did it last year. The team has improved mightily throughout the season. Travis Hunter still doing his thing. Shadur Sanders staying, staying good and composed. The offensive line has been a big improvement. And 
I believe that they will be able to protect Shador Sanders. I believe that Travis Hunter will continue to make his case for the Heisman Trophy and have a stellar game at home sat late Saturday night in Colorado. And OK, it's a state comes with momentum and they got some big games, uh, big wins this season so far. I believe Colorado can not only cover their three and a half point spread, but maybe outright win the game. So give me Colorado plus three and a half. Continuing on, Penn State and USC. Penn State has been known lately to blow big games as the season goes on. They could not look any better, especially in the running game. USC one week looks like they're pretty great, pretty cool. They're pretty intimidating. Then another week they blow a big game. Though I would feel this is a lock if this was Penn State at home, but they have a daunting task at the fourth-ranked team in the nation going to USC. And USC opens as the minus four favorite. They open as a four-point favorite. And you know what? I'm going to go with Penn State plus four. It might go down to a field goal. If they only lose by a field goal, it still counts. But uh, I feel Penn State, with the momentum they're on, even go into the West Coast, and especially a running game that might be able to give problems to the USC Trojan defense, I believe Penn State can cover this four point spread so give me penn state at plus four and then look at this right texas and oklahoma as i mentioned one of college football's classic rivalries between the two bordering states with each other across the red river red river that separates them good movie if you ever seen if you're really into old cinema check out the 1956 classic red river montgomery cliff and john wayne but besides that we have the number one ranked Texas getting back in the realm in Oklahoma at four and one big test for Texas right now. And if are they able, are they able to stop this Oklahoma at home when Oklahoma has been in the past? I am going to go with Oklahoma at plus 14 and a half points only because the spread is quite big. Oklahoma has played Texas in close games, especially. We'll talk about their big comeback victory last year in the past five years. And though we like what Arch Manning is doing, and though Texas uh, getting a big win over Michigan was their biggest opponent since, and they've been cruising along, I just think that at home, especially with Oklahoma being at home with this one, I think they keep the game close. And the bookies have this big spread there. And I'm going to go with Oklahoma plus 14 and a half. So we're going with all underdogs this week in college football. Colorado plus three and a half. Penn State plus four. Oklahoma plus 14 and a half. And we are going to enjoy these games on Saturday, no doubt about it. So the NFL, let me get a chance to redeem myself. Changing my pick at the last moment to prevent a sweep. Let's get back into the realm and do it again. And this time, I'm saying this time, we do. We have our picks ready. Give them to you. And we make people very happy and win them some money. So first, right? Prime time, Sunday night, NBC, Carrie Underwood, all that. We're the New York Giants hosting the Cincinnati Bengals after the Cincinnati blows a Tough game against the Baltimore Ravens. And then the Giants get a big win over the Seattle Seahawks. I'm liking this. I'm liking the chances here for the New York Giants to cover plus three and a half. As Cincinnati opens as minus three and a half. I do think as the offense is improving for the Giants. And as I mentioned, the Bengals defense is not very good. With the returning Malik neighbors, especially. And Daniel Jones proven that he can facilitate his other weapons, even without Malik neighbors. Now you only add the hottest wide receiver in the game right now. Give me the Giants plus three and a half over the Bengals at home. MetLife Stadium, Sunday night. And let's do it. And especially if Tyrone Tracy is getting the start. I don't see why not having another game, a stellar game against his pass rush, even if Denver Singletary does return as well. I see the Giants covering 
minus three plus three and a half and uh spoiling what could be a disastrous season for Cincinnati next we have the a division matchup with the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers where the Falcons continue to be red hot with their offense after some big back-to-back wins against Tampa and New Orleans. And then we have Carolina still figuring themselves out, but despite being at home, and I think this is the Falcons' game to win, I think they can run all over this t- this off this. I believe whether they run the ball or whether they pass the ball, I believe Atlanta will run all over this Carolina Panthers defense, give them some momentum, and make them feel good on a Sunday. Give me, even though on the road, give me Atlanta minus six for the Panthers. I think they can win by at least a touchdown. And finishing it up, we have a Ravens team that has won three in a row. And then we have arguably the hottest offense in the entire NFL, the four and one Panthers. Sorry, the four and one Commanders, who have won four in a row. So two teams with big streaks going at each other. One o'clock Sunday afternoon, Washington versus Baltimore. Baltimore's minus six and a half. I think the Commanders can easily be spoiler and cover that six and a half point. Cover and have the Commanders plus six and a half. I think they could keep this game close, if not outright win the game. Ravens defense has some holes, especially in the secondary. And obviously, Daniel, uh, Jaden Daniels is playing not only like a rookie of the year, maybe he's playing like an MVP, similar to what C.J. Stroud was playing, but even he's better with his legs than C.J. Stroud is. So I believe the Commanders can keep this game close, if not outright win the game against Baltimore. And yeah, I would not be surprised to see them go 5-1 and one leaving Baltimore. But I at least expect them to cut to cover the plus six and a half points there. So give me the commander six plus six and a half. So let's go through the picks one more time for the college football. It's Colorado plus three and a half, Penn State plus four, Oklahoma plus fourteen and a half, and then for the NFL it's the Giants plus three and a half, Falcons minus six, and then the Commanders plus six and a half. So that will be our pick segment for college and NFL this week. My name is Matt Brown. I am the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. Check us out after the Yankee game to see an instant reaction of the Yankees and the Kansas City Royals game four. If necessary, we'll be on Saturday night with the Yankees after game five. Hopefully there isn't a game five on Saturday night. Hopefully the Yankees can clinch the division series and get ready for either Detroit or Cleveland on Monday afternoon. So, exciting stuff. We'll be back with that, back with the tweet cap on on Tuesday. And then, don't forget, week seven and week six. Week seven, college football, week six of the NFL. We will do our recaps on Monday. So, and then, sun, and then Monday, we will also do a... Sorry, Sunday night, we will do an instant reaction to the Mets game one of the NLCS. So lots to do. Let's continue to enjoy this October. And my name is Matt Brown. I'm the host of the Productive Conversations podcast. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Much love, people. Peace.